Okay, here's a couple of questions where you need to simplify a fairly complex rational expression. Notice it's an expression. At the top, it would have said something like simplify. Um, so there's no, equ there's no equal sign here. So I can't uh, use the I hate fraction rule, like multiply every term by lowest common denominator. What I just need to do is try and factor each uh, binomial or each expression here. And uh, once factored, then uh, see if I can simplify it or take out factors one. So let's do the top one. So the first thing would be, I think, x minus 7 times x plus 5. That's this one right there. Put a blue dot on it. This red dot one, uh, I think maybe I can take a, fact, a common factor out of that one. Let's take an x squared, maybe. So I'll be left with 2x minus 3. So that's that one. Uh, let's maybe do this top one over here. Uh, times, hmm, I can take an x out. So then I'm left with 4x squared minus 9. Oh, I might be able to do more with that. And then finally, let's do this one. Looks like I can take a 7 out. I guess I should put my lines in. So I can take a 7 out. Left with x minus 7. Now, right off the bat, I see an x minus 7, x minus 7. Why don't I just cancel those out? So this one and this one is a factor of 1. So I can take those out. So I'll be left with an x plus 5 over uh, x squared times 2x minus 3. And then on the top there, uh, I think I can factor this. It's a difference of squares. So difference of squares... Uh, I can see that because this is squared. It's 2x times 2x. And 9 is a squared because it's 3 times 3. And then in the difference of squares, one of them is positive, one of them is negative. Okay. And then on the bottom, I just have a 7. So now I take a look again to see if there's anything that I, is a factor of 1 that I can get rid of. 2x minus 3, 2x minus 3, that's a factor of 1 take both those out. So on the top, I'm left with an x plus 5 <coughs> and an x, I'll put that out front, and a 2x plus 3. <coughs> and on the bottom, I'm left with an x squared and times 7. And we could put the 7 out front. Oh, here, this x squared is being multiplied. This x squared is, or x is being multiplied. I could simplify those too. So one of these x's cancel off one of those. So in the end, I'm left with x plus 5 times 2x plus 3 all over 7x. So that would be the simplification of that one there. Here's another one. It's very similar, but it also involves a sum of difference of cubes. Let me show you. This first one is very similar to what we had just done. It's a difference of squares. So it'd be 2x minus 3, 2x plus 3. And then over here, I don't know what that is, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try it being a 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3. I'm just guessing. Just because I see this is a square, 2x times 2x. This is a square, oh, 3y times 3y. Now, if I foil that, I'm hoping to get 6 in the middle. Uh-oh. I don't think I do. This would be 4x squared plus 6xy plus another 6. That's 12xy. Oh, that's what I'm going to get on the bottom. But this top one, I can't, I can't factor. So I'll just leave that one. That was a good shot. So I'll just leave this one as 4x squared plus 6xy plus 9y squared. Okay, now, this one on the bottom looks to me like a, a difference of cubes. Here I put the formula for difference of cubes there. So this first one, and it's a, not a bad idea to say, well, 8x cubed is the same thing as 2x all cubed. So it's 2 times 2 times 2, and x times x times x. That'll give me this. And this part would be uh, 3y all cubed. Because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Y times Y divided. 
is y cubed. Okay, so this is the difference of cubes, so I need to follow this formula right here. Okay, so it says take each thing separately and subtract. So I'm going to go 2x minus 3y. And then, oh, on this difference of squares up top, I just noticed I forgot y is there. You probably noticed that before. Okay, and then now I'm on this difference of cubes again. So a squared, this would be a, so 2x squared, uh, what would that be? 2x all squared, 4x squared. So this would be 4x squared plus um, a times b. So it's 2x times 3y, that would be 6xy. Okay, done that part, plus b squared. So b is 3y, I have to do 3y all squared. That's going to be 9y squared, plus 9y squared. Okay, so that's this piece right there. I'm sort of uh, extended this little piece over a bit too much. Let me factor that one too. I'll just do it small. I think it is uh, a sum of, or um, a perfect square, so it's a 2x and a 2x and a 3y and a 3y. And they're all positive, so this will be positive. So 4x squared plus 6 plus another 6, that gives me my 12, plus 9y squared. So there, I factored them all, I think, correctly. This difference of cubes is sort of a tough one. You have to practice that one a little bit. Anyway, this goes with this. This thing, hey, that whole thing is the same. Uh, 2x plus 3y goes with that one. And it looks like there's nothing on top, so I'll, I'll put a 1 there. Because when I take these out, that's a factor of 1, so I can say 1 times that. So there's still a 1 there. And then on the bottom, all I'm left with is a 2x plus 3y. Hopefully that helps you with that question. The difference of cubes is sort of a hard one. And if you just see two terms and there's a minus, and it looks like each of these terms is a cube, like I've shown up here, then more than likely you can use that difference of cubes or sum of cubes formula. Okay, hope that helps.